Hey guys, Jay Norris, Director of Safety. Happy Safety Monday. Thanks for clicking in. We've got Ben Price with us here today. Ben is our Assistant Chief Engineer of Operations. Uh, ben, I know you filmed a video with us a couple years ago on chainsaw safety. Um, would you mind sharing with the group just a little bit about yourself before we get started? No, not at all. So, uh, 20 year plus uh, career with TDOT. Most of that was in field ops. Been at headquarters the last three years and about two months on the job as Assistant Chief of Operations. Yeah. And, and so we're here to talk to you guys today about work planning. And so a couple years ago, Ben and myself and some others, we went to each district and listened about how our districts are planning work and see what's going on out there. And then Paul Deggs, our, our chief engineer, began to um, ask us about what work planning was going on out there. And, and Commissioner Bright began to challenge us to work, um, work on the business and make some improvements. And so the safety division, engineering ops, where you come from, and our asset management division, we began to, to, to formalize some processes and think through these things. And so one of the things is a, um, a process that would, and be clear here, is that we're, we're thinking about our in operations, our maintenance employees, highway marking, floating, and bridge repair. Bridge repair. Yep. This is who we're talking about this applying to, about formalizing our work planning process for, as you say, our CDL holders. Um, can you talk us through the work planning process and kind of what we're, what we're going to be asking? Yeah, it's just asking each crew to put on paper and in MS what they're going to be doing the next upcoming week and the following week after that. So um, when we talk about work planning, why is this a big deal for the department? It, so the more you plan your work, it gives you an overall flexibility to adjust to things that come in, having the capacity to gain more opportunities, get more work done. Yep. So in addition to this weekly plan, uh, we're going to be a, doing a daily huddle with staff. There's been training that's just been completed on the planning and this huddle communication where we're going over the work we're doing that day, the risk associated with that all of our pre-trip inspections and really going over traffic control to make sure that's solid for the day. Um, that, that's that been something our safety division has been focused on and this is a major shift in the way we've done business in a lot of places so we're very excited about it. And so in addition to this we've got some changes in IPPs that should be coming out of right now. Can you talk about those for a second? Yeah it just formalizes the kind of the three requirements for work planning for the one week, two week and daily huddle. Yeah, so, it won't, it, and just to be clear, it, we, our folks in the training heard this, if we have to go off and work an incident or our plans change, it's not the end of the world, but we want to exercise that muscle yeah. about planning our work and make sure we're proactive. So, while I've got you, Ben, winter maintenance is on, snow and ice season's on us. Yeah. What What's going on out there? Talk to us about some changes this year compared to last. Don't want to catch anybody off guard, but winter is coming, so that's <laughs> that's coming. Um, so we've got a lot of exciting things. We've got a SOG update. We've also got our GPS on our trucks. We've got a new provider, really excited. We've got 25 cameras uh, in each region. So you be able to view the actual road conditions on 25 vehicles and well over half the fleet will be reporting back uh, instantaneously on how much salt is being used which will be really handy for knowing kind of where we're at in the in a storm the other side talking about planning our work want to take this opportunity to to remind everyone that we do expect shift work to be done this winter that can be done on 16 8 or triple eight or 12 on and 12 off but the idea on all of those is what we start the event um, knowing that what we're going to do, planning to, to have shift work. And that really solidifies us for a long-term event, makes us good at working something yeah. that's longer than three or four days, right, which we had in February. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things we have to take that opportunity to plan to start a long-term event knowing that it may not happen, but we're willing to to pay that upfront cost to get everybody in and start the shift. Yeah, that's awesome. So guys, that's it for this Safety Monday. Thanks for clicking in. And as always, please be safe for your families out there. Have a great week.